There's an incredibly easy and untapped niche on TikTok and YouTube where you can go viral quickly, even if you're just starting your channel. This niche is massive and has the potential to attract viewers from all over the world. The idea is to create content comparing different regions or countries, which naturally sparks interest because people are curious to see what's being said about their area. This leads to more engagement, likes, comments, and shares, as viewers feel proud of their country and want to show it to their friends. In this video, we'll dive into how you can create viral, monetizable, faceless videos using free AI tools. To get the most out of this tutorial, it's essential to watch the entire video, as we'll cover everything from writing the script to editing. So let's jump in and see what we'll be creating today. This is how indigenous people looks in every region of the world, India. This is how indigenous people look in India, with diverse cultures, traditional attire, and distinct regional features. Italy. This is how indigenous people look in Italy, reflecting a rich history of Mediterranean heritage and traditional Italian elegance. Morocco. This is how indigenous people look in Morocco, with Berber roots and a blend of Arab, African, and Mediterranean influences. North Korea. This is how indigenous people look in North Korea, characterized by East Asian features and a strong sense of national identity. China. This is how indigenous people look in China, with a vast array of ethnic groups, each with unique traditional clothing and features. First, you'll find these prompts in the pinned comment. In this prompt, I'll show you how indigenous people look in different regions of the world. I've chosen some countries, but you can use this prompt for multiple ideas, such as showcasing how artisans, like bakers, painters, doctors, builders, etc., from different regions of the world used to look. In each video, you can select five countries for part one, and so on. Now we'll copy this prompt and go to ChatGPT to ask it to generate a phrase describing the appearance of indigenous people for each country. After waiting a little, the script will be ready. Next, we can ask ChatGPT to write multiple prompts to generate AI images for each group of people. Again, we'll wait a bit and then the prompts will be finished. Once we have the prompts, we'll go to Leonardo AI. This is its interface, so we click on the Generate Image button. Then we change the style of the images and adjust the shape to 916. After that, we return to ChatGPT, copy each prompt one by one, paste it into Leonardo AI, and click the Generate button to create the images we need. We repeat the same process for the other images using the last prompts. After finishing the image creation, we download them and go to 11 Labs AI. We open it, go to the library, and search for a good voice to use as a narrator. Once we found the voice, we add it. Then, we return to the original interface, select the voice, and make some adjustments. We copy each phrase with the name of the country, paste it in the box, and click the Generate button. Once the vocals are ready, we do the same process with the other phrases. Don't forget the intro. This is how indigenous people look in every region of the world. Now, our vocals are ready. Now, we go to Runway and use AI to make some pictures look like videos, specifically using a tool on the Runway site. We upload our images, wait a little, and then change the duration to three seconds. Next, we click on the Generate button and wait for the video to be ready. To save time, we add the other images simultaneously. It's recommended to make every image for each region look like a video. After all the videos are ready, we download them by clicking the download button at the top. Next, we search on Google for the flags of the countries we will use in our video, download them, and then go to a site called Paper Animator. 
First, we change the background color to green, then upload our image by clicking here, and we can edit it using the options on the left. Before exporting each video, we need to click here to add the animation paper to the flag, and we repeat the same process for all the images. After finishing all the documents, we need to download a background music track as usual. We go to the Pixabay site, switch to the music option, and search for something like historical calm music. You are free to choose any song you prefer. We'll pick one and download it. Now we go to the CapCut application, open it, and add all the downloaded documents like this. The first step is to add the vocal for the intro, and also a random picture like this, just for the intro. After adding it, we go to the animation combo, choose a bounce animation like this, then go to the effects options and add a blur effect. We also add the vignette effect and a second audio track, as you can see. We trim the audio slightly to adjust its placement, then add the videos and images, cutting them to align with the timing of the audio. For each vocal, we start with a video, then add the images, following the same process for other images and vocals. Now, we revisit each image and video to zoom in on any video that has a watermark. After that, we go through each video and image again, adding combo animations to each one. For example, the first video gets a bounce animation, the second one gets a zoom animation, and we continue this for all the videos and images until we finish. Now after this, we go to the transition options, and we add the Gallery 2 transition onto